It's a beautiful day in southern Utah. Cool, but not too cold. I uh, was supposed to go to SHOT Show today, which is the big cool people convention in uh, Vegas. Had it all planned to go, had a hotel room arranged, had some meetings set up. And then I woke up, well actually uh, last night I was like, screw it, I wanna go shed hunting. It's been too long. I have a spot that's been bugging me. I've been thinking about it all the time. I haven't been back to it for a couple years. Last time I went in there, I absolutely slayed it. Picked up like 25 antlers and I'm just dying to, I'm dying to get back out there. So, got a couple hour drive. Um, but hopefully we'll be in the bone zone. Hiking finally. Took me a few hours to get out here. Sun's up. It's cold. But I've been to this place a couple times. I always picked up a lot of deer sheds. I know I'm an elk guy and I have a hard time like dedicating myself to just picking up deer sheds, but pretty much everywhere I hunt elk sheds right now is buried. So weather calls. I did see a big herd of bulls on my way here this morning at a spot that I've never seen bulls in before. So um, I'm gonna have to check that out come shed season. But a lot of uh, sagebrush and cedars. A lot of deer winter in here. I didn't see any deer. On, well, I saw one doe on the way in is all, but maybe we'll see some deer too. Anyway. All right, guys. I was worried this day was gonna be a bust. No, I'm really only like an hour and a half in, but I've gone a long ways and I'm looping down into some lower stuff. Looked up on the hill, weird steep country. And I got a, I can see the fork of a deer shed sticking up up on the hill. So I'm gonna go get it. Stuff doesn't look that steep, but it's steep. I see you, I see you. Good thing I looked up because I came down the draw and I wouldn't even have seen that fat sucker. Three point, but old as dirt. I was clear down in the bottom. Luckily I looked back. I don't know if you guys will be able to see me or not. Probably not, that's okay. Fat little shed, huh? About stepped on this real butte. Chalky, chalky, chalky. Giant. Stoked on that one. So I came down to the bottom to glass. The reason I'm filming sky behind me is because there's some pretty uh, noticeable geographical features around here. And I don't want you fools to know where I'm at. Um, I just glassed up a horn up on the hill. Laying tines down, facing right at me in the wide open. So I'll go check it out, see what it is. I'm gonna go around. I uh, came down on the flat just to see if I could see where to, God, that background keeps creeping in. Just to see if I could find uh, a good spot to go up from here. And I think that looks as good as any. Obviously there's a shed laying there. So I'll go pick that one up. Never been mooned by mother nature before. Shit. All right, so there's the one I glassed up. Down below. Hard whitey, good color, still on the one side. Not a bad little three point. Last year's brown. Sweet. But this is good looking country. It's full of deer sign. Looks like they've just been living on these hills. Hills are covered in good feed and stuff, so I hiked my fat butt up here. 
so now I'm gonna grid this, look around up here and see if I can find some more, but three down, won't complain about that. So I made it back to the truck. I was gone for about five hours. Um, I hiked 15,000 steps, which is the equivalent of, I don't know, probably like 20,000 miles. And I found three sheds. I was gonna go over south and hit this other spot but um, it was about twice as far to go over there as it was to come back to the truck. So uh, I decided to come pick up my truck and uh, just kind of drive closer and hike from another spot and go check it out. I'm gonna go look at it. If there's some good looking country, I'll go hit it. If not, um, I'm gonna go try some brand new stuff that I've never been to before. I've driven through it a couple times and it's always looked good, so I might go give that a whirl. But man, whew, it's windy. My face is all red. Feels good though to be in the hills again, man. I was getting getting burned out and not being out here. Look at all this sweat. Look at that. Jeez. I've been doing work today. I've been hiking hard. Anyway, on to the next adventure. <sighs> you guys, what am I doing? <laughs> I do this to myself sometimes. I'll start driving around and looking for a place to shed hunt. And then I'll just start seeing new country and want to see more new country. And then I'll end up just driving around all day instead of shed hunting. But it's good because I need to learn these roads and I need to learn this area. Um, I want to memorize the whole state. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I went really far south. And all I was seeing was wild horse sign. I did see a coyote and I didn't get a shot at it. Um, but I'm finally starting to get back into some deer signs. So I'm going to go cruise around over here a little bit and see if I can't find a spot I want to hike. Maybe I'll hike, maybe I'll just drive around and scout tonight. We'll see what happens. Well guys, I made it home. I ended up just kind of driving around, scouting out new areas, and I learned where some roads go. That's important. So I'm excited to get back out there in a couple days and explore some more. My phone ring seems like it's probably a very important thing. It's my wife calling me from the other side of that door. So, I'm gonna walk in and talk to her, and uh, I don't know, I can't think of anything else to say with this phone going off in my pocket, so. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. Whew, 